hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Khadijat Adishola and in my channel I talk about women midwifery midwifery exams and uh, midwife so today I will be talking about one of the skills in midwifery exam which is management of postpartum hemorrhage so in management of postpartum hemorrhage uh, you are expected to demonstrate how you will manage postpartum hemorrhage in real clinical situation even if your patient is a mannequin you are expected to treat the patient as a the mannequin as a patient and you demonstrate exactly how you will manage postpartum hemorrhage in real clinical situation so after reading the scenario how to you you confirm from the patient you gain consent from the patient you check the blood loss and you see the patient is bleeding the next thing to do is to tell the patient that oh you've you've had your baby and right now you are bleeding which is postpartum hemorrhage is an emergency so i'm going to pull the call buzzer now to call for help don't worry a lot of people will come in here now don't worry they are all here to help you so you pull the buzzer you go back to the patient you position the patient remove the head of the bed down then you ask her to move downward now your help have arrived you tell your help to please call the, um help you call for uh additional help as this is an emergency so you'll be needing a frustration uh senior midwife the anesthetic the potter and the scribe so after that when they come now you ask them to please help you of course in the exam situation your exercise will tell you your hair pack here what do you need so the next thing you please help me put on high flow oxygen uh first uh high flow oxygen then you titrate according to our uh oxygen saturation level then help you check the vital signs the blood pressure the pulse respiration and uh our temperature then the next thing is to anesthetist to please pull two large ball um cannulas on both hands and take blood samples for to send to the lab for grouping and cross margin full blood count liver and kidney function test then um platelet count level so after that you now have to what uh you 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 will go ahead to empty the bladder after emptying the bladder then you continue rubbing the uterus for contraction and also to expel all blood cloth any blood cloth that is still remaining inside so you keep um rubbing the uterus while you're telling uh, your herbs what to do so you put it then you have what if the patient is the patient still bleeding then you ask what type of oxytocin was given during the delivery if it's oxytocin then international unit of oxytocin intramuscularly you ask your hey, can you please repeat another 10 in international units of oxytocin or can you please check if we have a gumentrin or uh, syntocin no that's oxytocin and egometrin there if they have they should please give intramuscularly the um ergometrin is zero uh, five is zero point five milligram of ergometrin you give intramuscularly if the patient is still bleeding you please give um crystal lord solution that's normal saline plus 40 international units of oxytocin in the in five five hundred mils of the saline to be going at uh at the rate of 125 drop per hour then after that, you can also repeat that if the bleeding has not stopped. The next thing to do after that is to check, uh, you can give uh, carbopros, 250 milligram, 250 microgram of carbopros intramuscularly, and that can be given every 15 minutes on say, a maximum dose of 8 doses. Then if you still ask, is my patient still bleeding? The patient is still bleeding. Okay, at this point, we we'll consider 800 microgram of uh, misoprostol rectally. So you get that, you give. After that, you okay, is the patient still bleeding? The assessor said patient is still bleeding. Then at this point, you had the anesthetic to please give or uh, prescribe one gram of uh, tranexamic acid. And that should be given intravenously slowly over 10 minutes. Why you continue rubbing the uterus for contraction? The patient is still bleeding. You've given her this oxytocin and the patient is still bleeding. The next thing you're going to do now is to perform by manual compression of the uterus. You use your non-dominant hand. You put inside the uterus, inside the vagina, then you locate the posterior furnace of the cervix. And at the posterior furnace, you form a fist there. Then you use your non-dominant hand on the uh, abdomen at this superior area you apply pressure to compress the pl uh, placenta side you are going to the posterior side because that's where placenta is usually situated and uh, 
implanted then you apply pressure on the placenta side this plant you will not remove your hand you keep applying that pressure then you ask if the patient is still bleeding if your assessor said the patient is still bleeding then you tell the uh, patient um sorry at this point you call the patient name or uh, lisa at this point i've tried all we can do at the uh, labor room so we'll be transferring you to the theater now where you'll be examined under anesthesia anesthesia and uh, if you have any laceration it should be duly sutured under anesthesia anesthesia then if after that you still continue bleeding balloon tamponing might be considered for you if after that you still bleeding then uh they might go ahead to perform hysterectomy do you consent to me moving you to the theater and she said yes okay so at this you continue pressing the uh doing the compression then after that you ask the assessor are we in the theater now so as is the bleeding still or uh, is the patient still bleeding if the patient is still bleeding, you you repeat, you continue the uh, compression again for another 30 seconds. You ask, is the patient at that theater, you explain again what they are going to do for her in the theater. So at this point, we've done that. We do, uh, we've examined to uh, give an assess anything. If there's any laceration, they suture it. If after the laceration, uh, the, the, after the suturing of the laceration, she's still bleeding. And at this point, you give a... Uh, you do a uh, balloon tamponage by the uh, obstetrics or something. They do the balloon tamponage. After that, she's so still bleeding. Then they will go higher to do hysterectomy. I'm sure at this point, the assessor will say the bleeding has stopped. So after the bleeding has stopped, the next thing for you to do now is to examine the all used, um, what's it called? Estimate blood loss. Take whole linear use pad and everything you will them estimate blood law then you take the writing from the scribe you document at the time the time the bleeding start this time the bleeding stop what drugs you have given what action you have taken then after that you debrief the woman you say okay so this delivery has usually um the you had prospatum area but after you later i will come back to debrief what happened and what we have done to you with uh with you and your husband so what plan do you have to offer the baby do you plan to breastfeed the baby or something if she says she plans to breastfeed the baby then you encourage her to breastfeed the baby as this will aid contraction of the uterus and your baby your uh, and also uh aid involution we allow contraction release of oxytocin which aid contraction of the uterus then he has if she have any question if she feels better now then if she feels any unwell or anything else she should please press the call buzzer you come back to her sister then at this point we cannot perform your hand hygiene according to who guidance fan to fan you say it's here then you are done with this station don't forget in this station it is eight minutes station and within that eight minutes you are expected to say all these things i've just said this station there is no documentation for you so you are not documenting anything you are just going to say everything you are going to do in clinical situation and you are saying that you will document and what exactly you are documenting don't forget to call for help don't forget to use utilize your help and don't forget to keep your hand on the uterus while you are saying everything you need to do everything you are going to do that is you keep rubbing the uterus until you get to bimanual compression when you get to bimanual compression you keep your hand there until you move the patient to theater and until your assessor said the bleeding has stopped then you can also be asking for the vital signs of the patients along the line while you are doing all those things you are doing so if this video is beneficial to you please 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 like comment share and engage in my video so this video is actually for midwifery oski in the uh uk midwifery oski questions in uk you can i expect us to answer it and management of postpartum hemorrhage is usually uh, the same everywhere all over the world except the, the, the there are some local policies which uh 
that is local policy in the sense that maybe the ch choice of oxytocin might differ from one country to another but in nigeria like for instance in nigeria you, you we don't have carbon pros but we have a gum exchange we don't use carbon pros uh we don't really use carbon pros in nigeria but we use uh every other one we use chinesemic acid we use uh recta uh misoprostol rectally we use uh, oxytocin we use egometrin and all that so that's just and they are all oxytocin so in management of postpartum hemorrhage anywhere in the world, you are going to use oxytocin. You are going to perform by manual compression of the uterus. You are going to compress the uterus for contraction. So it's the same thing all over the world. So anywhere in the world you have, you can actually watch this video and it's going to be beneficial to you. So you, you just need to modify it according to your local policy or trust uh policy or anything so thank you if it's beneficial please 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 like comment share and uh, i can't wait to see you in my next video thank you bye